On non-government shooting in Ebony State, during Buhari's visit, not IPOB, Dev Omahi, hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. There's a news that you are going to see right now because I will be reading it from one of the zoo gotha media outlets, how it has been reported and for you to understand what is happening. So I'm not going to talk too much until I read this very news. Then from there, we will do a proper analysis about it. Do not forget that today's date is 10th of May, 2022. And Devu Mahi, the governor of Ebony State, of course, has this to say. Now pay very close attention. We read. Turn around, Omahi absolves IPOB, says PDP, Senator, police masterminding shootings in name of IPOB. <laughs> is it not laughable? This is laughable. Now, according to this, the governor of Ebony State, Dev Omahi, has accused the, Pol the People's Democratic Party, PDP, an unidentified senator. But do you what? Let us see. The governor of Ebony State, Dev Omahi, has accused the People's Democratic Party, PDP, an unidentified senator and officers of the Nigerian police of carrying out shooting in Ebony State. Remember, he is talking about the shooting that took place during the visitation of the impostor, Muhammad Buhari. During the visitation of the impostor, Muhammad Buhari, because there is a news, there was a news that unknown gunmen invaded that very area, shot sporadically, and scattered the people. Now, let us see what Dev Mumai has to say. Addressing a congregation during church service at a chapel in the government house, Abakaliki, the governor who thanked God for successful visitation of President Muhammad Buhari last week said, the shooting reported why the president was on ground was not carried out by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. According to him, Members of the opposition party and folks of a sitting senator were responsible for the shooting. Hmm. Uh, yeah. The early post recalls that there was pandemonium at the Ebony State People's Democratic Party PDP secretariat on Tuesday following heavy shootings by unidentified gunmen operating along the busy Enugu Abakaliki Express Road. The governor stated that there was there has been shootings around the secretariat for the past two weeks, vowing that he would seal off the, the facility if there is another shooting. Okay, now. Hmm. On a day, okay, it's good that they are the one confessing. It's good that they are the one confessing. But I will do something. He said, there was even questions as to why there was no announcement of IPOB about the president coming. The answer is, I don't know. Refer the matter to God. Everything worked out perfectly well, and that, and that could only come through fasting and prayers. <laughs> there was a report of shooting of shooting. The shooting was done by the people, by PDP people shooting at the secretariat and for the past two weeks they have been shooting in that area is that how they want to contest and win elections in ebony state he queried he alleged that unknown gunmen who recently attacked a police station in azar south and north were caught with weapons belonging to the police and a vehicle carrying a senator's name and PDP logo. <laughs> I love this. When the police stations were attacked in Ezar, South and North, 
the police guns were missing when the shooting was happening and one of the thugs were arrested with a boss of a senator painted in pdp color with his name boldly written on it do you know what was discovered among other guns and ammunition was the police gun wow wow this is unbelievable how can you come to a state and you will be shooting as if there is no government and you are carrying police people and then your thugs are shooting it won't happen again he added you see there is something i want you to pick from this you see they have been you know blackmailing the agitators in so many in so in, in you know in so many ways but thank god they are now the ones confessing at last they are now confessing finally finally after all the atrocities after everything that they have committed they are now confessing it no be juju be that no be juju be that my people i'm asking how on earth will all these politicians commit all manner of atrocities and evil in our land and at the at the end of the day they end up accusing fingers uh pointing fingers on agitators knowing fully well that we as ipob the indigenous people of biafra our sole aim and target is to restore biafra is to be free from the shackles of this very terrorist group called Fulani and britain to be free from the bondage from the shackles from the chain of bondage of slavery that is our sole aim and target we are not here for anything of course there is original ugm you cannot take that away from them but these people are going about avenging the death of their innocent loved ones that were killed in cold blood by the nigerian security operatives both the nigerian army police dss including the air force because so many so so many times we have seen videos where they are they are throwing bombs from the air and people are dying so this is it we are not here for uh, politics and we don't have any time for politicians the only thing we need is freedom and that reminds me every time they exonerate ipob every time they exonerate ipob hope Zadema has exonerated ipob therefore he has now done that i want to say something we are not actually begging anybody to exonerate us if you like tag us all manner of names our leader has told us george washington was tagged all manner of names did he stop him from liberating america no it did not stop him are you getting it nelson mandela was called all manner of names did he stop him from you know uh, uh, liberating south africa no and what about uh, uh, uh um other liberators who were called all manner of names insulted did they stop them from liberating their people it did not stop them so if no matter exonerating ipob or what that not nonsense it's not our it's not our business it's not our problem call us all manner of names no problem but at the end we will must keep on doing what we are doing at the end of everything Biafra will be restored. That is it. Bring your arms and your ammunition. Bring your military, bring your battalion and all that. They will not go back alive as long as Biafra land is concerned. Because we are the Umuchineke. And we are doing this only for our future to be better and secured. That's all. Nothing more, nothing else. For anybody who do not understand it, I beg of you to understand it now because we do not have any apology to any idiot. We are moving forward and we must restore Biafra. Now, in order, in, 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 if you look at it from the other way, from the other side, 
all these governors who supposed to be who happen to be the chief security officers of their various state of their respective states exonerating ipob now would they i, I would want them to transfer their mentality to all these criminal police uh, police officers who are terrorizing our land including the nigerian military calling ipob all manner of names so the security the chief security officers the governors should tell their security operatives should stop talking about calling the name of ipob look at the people doing this so you have to you know look at this uh you know uh, uh, ad, uh argument from both sides you look at it from the right side and the left side that's exactly what i have done thank you my people share this very news and make it go viral